stand that we're going to be using. It's a ladder stand. We got some 2x4s we're going to be screwing into uh, the ladder stand to get some more elevation. Cheaper way of doing it. Uh, we're probably going to be about 28 feet. So we're going to get started putting together that uh, ladder stand right now. Instructions. Who needs those? Let's get to working. This is our third project that we got for today. We got Dave's stand right here. We gotta go up there and we gotta cut about a, about a four inch branch down. Then we gotta rotate the stand to make it face more into the corn. And we gotta trim all of our shooting lanes. And it was about right here when we were out here, uh, was it Thursday? We looked down, that's when we saw the big eight point just right at the end down there. We could barely see him. He's coming out of the corn, working into the woods, so. Going into the woods right about where we're setting up the stand. All right, going up. This is what happens when you ask your brother to bring a chainsaw and he doesn't. Shut up and sit down. Highway, highway, highway. So that stand's gonna give you about a 30 yard shot where they're all coming out of the woods right here. And then we got another stand we're gonna go put up down there. Call that area the schoolyard. But these stands are gonna help us catch them just walking this field edge, coming right back and through. We got bedding back there. There's bedding far back there. So either stand you really sit, you just gotta play the wind and they'll come right into these corners, so. Just uh, trimming these up. So that way when you walk by, the fence not hitting all these branches and staying on it. Let every passing deer that walks by know that you were just by. So just gonna clean these up a bit. Not too worried about licking branches or any of that. We have there's plenty of overhang down there that we have up for that purpose. Alright, what we gotta do now is we're gonna reposition the stand. So it's, it's kind of the way we set it up, plus it's you know how old it is, it's just kind of rotated into the woods more. We're going to cut down this branch that's coming out the side like this. We can reposition that stand facing more up in the corn, get some, uh, some better direct shots. So, this shouldn't be as bad working on the last stand. It's still, uh, still a good amount of work. The other thing that we're doing is, you know, like Kyle said, we're repositioning that stand is because last year, right out in front of us, it was all pumpkins, okay? And what we were finding out was a lot of these deer, these bucks, were staging up right back in here. And they were coming out here in the evening, late at night, where you couldn't shoot during legal hours. So now it's switched up. We got corn in here. These deer, they feel safe in here. They're walking in there. They're bedded down. They're going to be going right in there. We have a little bit of an opening there 
and that's where we're going to be focusing a lot of our shot opportunities on because we think that they're going to just come right through here at the edge of this point up here and just walk through solid through all day long we'll be able to get shots at them so we're going to get up here and change the stand around let's get at it yep. Chain, you know, when I come out there, but I have no clue. All right, sounds good. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, he doesn't think he has a, a key for the lock on that stand, so we're going to have to get creative and maybe cut the lock on it. But, uh, going to have to get some bolt cutters to do that, so we're going to keep carrying on. Put that one new stand. Wall trim will take a while. Corner stand should be all trimmed up and good, so we just gotta put up that uh put up this last stand and then we're all set. Yeah. I, say, I say we put up this stand. Do the hardest shit. Well other than that, put out more trail cameras. We wanna try a looking branch, and then you have my weed whacker put along that out. side, yeah. so that way you can just cut through there and stand off of your path. I'm looking at this now going on. Oh, screwed up. I screwed up. But this fall, coming this fall, you're gonna see a better, more shaped, more svelte day. Rather than the big ass gut. <laughs> Gotta get ready for a Colorado elk hunt. We're on uh, spot number three right now. Kyle's up there at the saw cutting right now again. It's uh, about 20 yards in the woods right now. We got corn right out in front of us, like I was saying earlier. With the other stand, we're at the other corner there now. And uh, there's a fence row. Those deer are gonna go back and forth. All sorts of tracks there. So the goal is to get in here and we'll be able to see quite a ways, especially when the corn gets knocked down. Might be able to uh, rattle or call one in. I know a lot of guys are probably calling BS on that here in Michigan, but it does work. Um, so that's the game plan. We're gonna get this stand up here now. Sweating bullets, it is hot, hot, hot. those ones out all right we just got done doing all our prep work on the tree stands now it's camera time uh, Kyle's hanging some cameras I'm hanging some cameras in fact this is my last camera that I'm just hanging up it's another one of our cell cameras it's August early August I don't plan on coming back here in this area until it's time to hunt so we're just gonna let these cameras soak in and send us the photos and do all the work for us now right here it's a perfect location because we got all this corn in here easy feeding there's woods right in front of us and the cell cams up away so if we get any trespassers they shouldn't see the camera but we'll see them there's some nice runways around here on this fence post and these deer are utilizing it very well so it's time to get out of here and let the cameras do the work for us <laughs> 